say goodbye to ChatGPT 4.0. Because Black Forest Lab, the owners of the Flux model just dropped a massive update. You see with this new model, not only do we have a better image model, meaning no more background blurring, but we also have a new chat to edit feature where you can easily change anything on your image. Now I'm gonna show you the two ways to access it. One for free and the best method, which does give free credits to try it out. Now I have created a document on how to make money with AI. If you want it, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe and comment. I want the free document and my bot will be sure to send it to you. Let's get started. Okay, so there are actually different ways to access this Flux 1.1 context, so you can just search for it. However, the best way that you can use to access it is this particular one. You can create a new tab and I want you to search for Open Arts. Now there's a reason why I use this particular platform. It's because it's not just a platform for AI images. No, there are tons and tons of things you can actually do with this. So the name is Open Art, and they do give free credits, so you don't need to be scared. However, it's more like a free trial, of course. Don't worry, you don't need to put in your credit card details or anything. Once you sign up, they'll give you a certain amount of credits. However, being honest, it's not going to be a lot. It's just for you to really test out certain features or certain functions or tools in this AI platform. But the goal of this video is to show you how to use Flux 1.1 context in the best possible manner, and that is why I'm using Open Art. And after this, trust me, you'll want to even upgrade your account. Now there are lots and lots of things you can do with this. So if you go here, you can try to create or modify your images with GPT-40, but not just GPT-40, but Flux Context, which is the chat edit feature. You can choose any style, and this upscaling is very crucial for better looking skin and realism. And another interesting feature is this, create video. And this is why I prefer it to other platforms where all you can just do is generate the image. So you can click on create video, you're gonna see tons and tons of functionalities here. And I'm not even joking, this tool is goaded. So we'll just go back to the homepage and we'll first of all click on create image. Because actually with Flux Context, you can also create images. So you should be presented with this interface. And as you can see, I've got about 48,000 credits. Cause actually Open Arts is one of the few AI tools I use on a constant basis. I use it basically daily. And if you guys remember at some point I've had 70,000 credits, but it has gone down cause the tool is just that goaded. Now, if you go over here to custom settings, it's best to leave this at none for now. And if you go over to model, as you can see currently, we have Flux Context Pro, which is very, very good. Don't worry, we're gonna test all of these out. But if you scroll down, you see that we have tons and tons of image generation models for you to use. We've got this comic style, we've got this cartoon style, we've got this realistic style, and we've got this anime style. There is a lot, but we'll still select Flux Context. Then we'll simply type in a prompt. So something like this. And you can decide to enhance the prompt or not. Then you can choose if you want image guidance, but let's just test it out for now. For the aspect ratio, we just choose the square. We generate about three images and click on create, and let's see how it does. Now in literally just 10 seconds, this is what it generated. Boy oh boy, this is so very realistic. This is the second one, and this is the third one. You can see it's very realistic and it's way sharper than the other Flux models. And the crazy part is you can go ahead and actually even further upscale this to make it even look more realistic. But though personally, I think this is very realistic as is. Now let's try it out with AI influencers. So I'll just do something like this. something like this, then click on create. Let's see how it does. Now, boy oh boy, just take a look at this. Remember, normal flux usually has background blurring, but this one does not. Just take a look at it. With just a simple prompt, just take a look just how realistic this is. There's no weird morphing, everything is on point. Even the phone, the fingers, everything, really, really good. Just take a look at this. This is so, so good. Let's try with another prompt. Now, one feature of this Flux context that I think OpenArt integrated, which is why I like it so much, is this thing called Omni Reference. Just simply click on it and simply upload your image. So preferably, yeah, what you wanna upload is something like a face. So let me just show you. So if you look here, I've uploaded an image of a girl. Now, actually why this is so good is that you can actually combine four images in total. So I'll put something like this. I'll change the prompt a little bit. So I've got this prompt and immediately click on create. Now boy oh boy, just look at what it's generated. It's so very good. And as you can see, the picture that we uploaded here, it has the same clothing and the same hair color, the same face. Literally everything is so, so consistent. Let's try something else. So here I've got a picture of something like a road. Then I can just simply type in the prompt. So basically something like this and click on create. Now boy oh boy, just look at this. Not only can it maintain objects consistently, but also surroundings. And this is just so good. And there is no weird background blur or anything. So now let's move over to the edits feature. So for that, simply create a chat. Then you simply upload the image that you want to edit. 
So here I've got this image here, and let's say we want her to wear sunglasses. All you need to do is go over here, and as you can see, you can select whether you want GPT High, GPT Medium, Gemini, or GPT Basic, or the one that is currently trending right now, Flux Context. Now this is why I love open art, it gives you so much variety, especially in the AI world. And we aren't actually finished, there are a lot more things that this can do. So you simply type what you want, and click on enter, and it will start cooking up the image or the edit. Now boy oh boy, in less than 10 seconds it's already done, and as you can see, it did it so perfectly. Now we can also tell it to do something like this to change the clothes color, And as you can see, it has successfully changed it in literally seconds. We could use this to do literally anything that we want. Then you can say this. And as you can see, it has done that successfully. Then if you want to go back to the original image, just simply click on it. Just click on this, then simply type in what you want. Like now, I've told it to give her an afro, and let's see what it does. And as you can see, it gave her an afro, and it turned her black. I've got this image here. You could also text this to turn it into a real person. And as you can see from this, we now have this, which is very good. So I think Flux Context is by far the best Flux model to come out. And not only that, it has this amazing chat to edit feature, which shows all in all that it understands images so well, which I think is cool. And now another reason why I like open art is that we can easily convert these images to videos by going here, image to video. And if you go here to select model, you'll see that we've got the latest Kling 2.1, which is um, the best Kling version yet. And they are working on bringing VO3, which is the best AI video generation tool. Now we can just bring this in and click on create. Let's see how Kling 2.1 actually does with this. Now just take a look at what it cooked. As you can see, we didn't add any specific prompts and it's so, so good. Now we can go ahead and decide to add a prompt. And you can choose whether you want 10 seconds, but we just keep it at five. And for the quality mode, you can actually go for master because master is better than the pro. You can click on create and see how it cooks. So now it's done. As you can see in the beginning, there's a shaky camera pan before she removes her hand. And as you can see, it's so, so good. And you can actually make this up to 10 seconds. You can actually go into text and you can turn your text into a video. And you actually also do this with audio. Let me show you what I mean. Something like this, a dog running in a forest. And you can actually go here and click on auto sound and you can go ahead and describe what sound you want. Let's just say something more like this for a more natural ambient sound because this would be a huge diverse surrounding with different sounds clashing. Something like this, though the sound prompt could be better, then you can put it at 10 seconds and click on create. So now it's done and look at what it cooked. As you can see, the resolution is way too sharp. It's too good. As you can see, it did a very, very good job. Of course, with better prompting, especially with the sound prompt, can get a more desired result. So yeah, be sure to check out Open Arts. And as you can see, they've got a whole lot of tools and functionalities for you to personally try out. And they do give free credits, though it's not much, but you can always upgrade. And trust me, it's worth it. And the link will be in the description. Be sure to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.